Hey, hey, good day. This is Martin, aka Badness, and today I'm going to do the first Let's Play of my channel here, and it is going to be Fable The Lost Chapters. Now, I played a ton of Fable uh, on the original Xbox. I started obviously with Fable, and then uh, found out that they had an expansion of Lost Chapters, and I've loved it ever since. I've always wanted to play this game for other people's enjoyment, and uh, so we're going to get started with that here today. So I've already started a profile, we're gonna create a new one. I'm gonna name it Martin. Just so you guys know, there's this recording is gonna be 100% perfect. You're not gonna hear any key clicks or any breathing in the background. Just so you guys are all aware. So let's go ahead and queue up a new game and we'll watch the cutscene that ensues. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight or a powerful wizard. And other times, he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up. Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's okay. not by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you forgot to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Okay, fine. So we got a little in-game tutorial here. You guys can read that if you like. I pretty much know the controls of the game. I am going to let you know that I am playing on the keyboard with a mouse. Uh, I'm used to this game with the, the controller, so it is going to be a little derpy just because I don't know it as well. Um, but I don't know why I have to get her a birthday present. She hasn't gotten me a birthday present the last, how old am I? Last few years of my life, so we'll see. Anyways, this game is uh, it's really fun. It's got like a, a good and bad system to it, so if you do good deeds, you get you know, good points, whatever, and that makes you like a good holy warrior, whatever. You can do bad deeds, which make people like run away from you, they'll scream when they see you, things like that. It's it's really fun. There's a, a lot of RPG elements to it, especially with the different kind of skills you can take and all of that. So we start out in the town of Oakvale here. It's quite a beautiful little town. Um, we'll definitely be visiting this place a little later in the game. Um, but for now, Dad said we have to do some good deeds to get some money. So what can we do to get some good deeds? If we take a look at our map here with the M key, you can see there's a bunch of little green dots there. Well, they're not super little, I guess. Um, that's going to be just little NPCs we can talk to, we can get some quests from. So we're going to go and talk to some of them. Like I say, I have played this game quite a bit before, so I know a lot about the game, but I do not claim to know everything about the game, so um, if there's something that you know that you'd like to share, please do so. I'd love to kind of hear your guys' input on the game. And we can hear a guy talking in the background, at least I can. So this is quite a nice view of Oakville. There's a little beach down there, and that's kind of the rest of the town over there. So what are these two up to? Uh-oh. What did we just walk into? What? Uh, I was just, um, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? No, you tell me. Keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? I mean, I guess so. Tell Why not? What? If you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. Alright, so our very first decision in the game between good and bad. So will you take his bribe and commit a bad deed? Beware, gossip travels very quickly in Oakvale. So we can, you know, take the gold piece from him and get a bad point, or we can, you know, not take his bribe and we'll get 
I guess we don't really get a good point for it, we just don't get anything for it. So there's repercussions for everything you do in this game, which is really cool. Um, it's quite a great system. Um, I'm just looking for gold, and since I want to kind of show you the good and the bad of the game, we're going to take the gold piece. Yeah, my advice to you, don't get tied down to one woman. If I accidentally skip some of the chat things, pardon me, um, I'm just kind of used to it. Look after yourself. Forget everyone else. You have committed your first bad deed. Oh no! So we got two bad points for that, but we have one gold now. So, let's head into town here. And, uh, we'll see what other things we can do. What's this? This little girl's glowing green. She has something, something to say. I've lost Rosie. I left her, and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help. She's a lovely little furry bear with a blue patch on her back. All right, we'll have a look out for that little bear for you, Rosie. Hmm. Oh, I gotta show you guys this real quick. See these chickens here? Hiya! You can kick chickens in this game, and once you get a little bigger, you can literally boot them halfway across the town. It's pretty awesome. Um, who should we talk to next? How about this lady here? I don't know where that good for her nothing husband of yours is. Actually, I do. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. That's pretty crappy. If you find him, let me know, won't you? So again, we have another decision here. We can tell her about her cheating husband, or we can opt to not. I am definitely going to, because that'll get us a good deed, and which will get us a piece of gold. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. <laughs> Balverines. Thank you. Young sir, for telling me. You performed a good deed. Remember, talk to your father to receive your reward. We will definitely be doing that. And we got two good points, as you saw on the right side of the screen. What a strange little boy he is. And we can follow her just to kind of show you what's uh, what happens with this. Yo, filthy swine! And she goes running. Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about you! She just told him she was gonna chop his nuts off. That, uh, poor fella. That's what you get for cheating in this world, I guess. This is the traitor, by the way. We're gonna come back to him once we have a little bit more gold. Um, where can we go now? Right. Got you, oh. you little ruffian. The guard caught us. What does he have to say to us? I've heard reports that you've been doing bad deeds. Accessory to improper man and lady <laughs> Okay. I didn't know that was a crime. That sort of behavior is not acceptable. If you were older, you'd be apprehended and fined by the town guards. You need to decide if behaving like that is worth it, my young friend. I'll leave it at that for now. But think about what I've said. So yes, this game also does have a full, like, guard and uh, criminal system, I suppose. Um, we'll get into that a little later. Like you said, we're kind of young right now. I didn't know that if you helped a woman find her cheating husband, you got in trouble. I don't know, that's just, that's just uh, interesting. But okay, we're going to talk to this guy here. Oh, oh, thank goodness. Listen, lad, could you do me a favor? I guess, depends on the favor. To, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move. All right. I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right. Fair enough. Won't be long. He's got to go to the bathroom. My cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. A big Come blubbing on. girl. You can do it's better than that, little buddy. Um, so yeah, we have a little timer bar there. Um, I'm definitely going to go break some of his boxes. Why not? These barrels are breakable. To attack them, face and press the left mouse button. But remember, these barrels are someone's property. Oof. And you get bad points for that. He's 
The way I look at it, these points are pretty insignificant in the early game, so there's really no point. You can also use a space bar to lock onto them. Oof. Oh, and there's a beetle. Get some bits of experience there. And a bit of combat multiplier. Uh, he's gonna be back soon, so let's just hang out here. Wait for him to return. Here he comes. Excellent, thanks, lad. You've done me a big favor. <laughs> he doesn't know nothing. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. So again, we got another good deed. As you can see in the top right underneath the map, two good points. So that is equivalent to two gold pieces. So let's go up this hill here because I know there's something else we can do as on the map here. You stupid little idiot. What does this kid have to say? Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. But you look strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. We got a bully on our hands, huh? So we'll lock on to him with the space bar. Show him what for. Can't go picking on little kids in a town like this. That ain't cool, man. Mm-hmm. Not gonna fight back? Okay. I'm sorry. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Quite the wussy, buddy. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. Here. I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Alright, and we got the teddy bear, which we can use as part of another little quest. And we got another good deed for that. So, there's still a green thing there. That must be the little kid we can go talk to. Let's go see what he has to say. Did you find anything in those barrels? I did. I found a beetle. So let's talk to Rosie and give her her bear back. Alright, another good deed. So let's go talk to the old man. Look, there's a little swipe. What? You again? Me again. I'm hearing of your mischief rather regularly. Shall we remark the destruction of a person's vendables, accessory to improper man and lady? Do you realize the trouble you'd be in if you weren't such a little un? Now go and keep yourself out of trouble. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I kind of did, but I didn't. Um, I don't know if there's more gold you can get. I think there's only like five or six pieces you can get total. So, uh, we'll just go talk to the old man and get this kind of tutorial area going on. This is our house, by the way. Just a nice little little shack, a few beds, a nice little fire pit. Again, we'll be coming back to this, uh, this house a little bit later. Hmm, I'm a man of my word. So that's a great camera angle for your good deeds. But if you think that I'll turn that's a better. blind eye to your mischief, you're very wrong. Look, try to keep out of trouble, please, for me. Okay, fine, Dad. I will. Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? You now have enough money to buy a present for your sister. The gold symbol on your map shows the location of the person, objective, or place you should go next. Your main objective will always be shown in this way. And you'll have a little silver doohickey thingy doodler. One of those guys if uh, it is like a secondary objective. I guess I should maybe go over the HUD too a little bit, um, seeing as I forgot about that. Up in the top right, of the map, the top left of the top right screen on the map. Uh, it shows like a little a one in a black circle. We'll kind of go into town just to elaborate a little more on that. Now it's blank and now it's it's an eye basically and it's telling you how many people can see you or in your line of sight because there is like stealing and theft and you know you can essentially murder people if you wanted to in this game so it's you know it's good to know who's all seeing you so there's eight people seeing me there that's probably not good. In the top right of the mini map, there's like a, a clock, so you can see we're kind of in midday, I guess. Um, the bottom half is nighttime, so that will continually circle around. In the bottom right, we have the little mouse thing with the fist and the foot. Um, get away from these people talking. 
If you hold down the right click, it'll make you sprint, and the left click will make you punch. Um, we also have a couple other uh, buttons down there that'll happen once we get the weapons. Um, in the bottom left, you can see we have our little gold meter. We also have like some social things that we can put in those other three slots, as well as uh, our guild seal, and we'll get to that later. Top left, health bar, we'll also get some uh, mana at some point. Um, so yeah, that's basically the HUD. Let's go talk to the trader here. Hey, buddy. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. I wander the world buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. All right. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. You're correct. Have you been creeping me, man? And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. Well, she doesn't get me presents, so I mean, can you blame me? It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Mm, I do love chocolate. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. All right. I mean, I guess we don't really have a reason to say no. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? And we get a box of chocolates. And we still have two gold left over, which is pretty fantastic. Now, where's our map telling us to go now? It's telling us to go straight north. Kind of to the entrance exit of town. There's a little bridge right there that's uh, right next to our house. And you can see down in the bottom left, we have on the number one slot, we have the chocolates. So once we get like potions and things like that, we can set them there and just have like a quick hot, hot bar action, I guess you could call it. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. All right, there you go. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. All right, if you say so. Hey, look, Mr. Scarecrow, you lost some of your some of your noggin there, buddy. Let's see if he's got anything in him. Searching through containers is a good way to find handy items. Be careful if you're planning on stealing from a house. Yes, good tip. So nothing interesting in there. I don't think there's any more scarecrows. So let's leave and see what happens next. Wait, there's something wrong. What? <gasps> no! It's really Ugh. happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Oh my god, this is terrible. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone.
So there's a good bit of backstory for you. This game does have a pretty good story in my opinion. Um, and we'll talk a little more about that as time goes on. But it looks like now we gotta run home and the whole city is up in flames, or town, village I guess you call it, not a city. So uh, let's go over here. Looks like this is blocked off to the fire, so we'll have to find another way around. Go up this way. I guess the fire looks alright. I mean, some games have really terrible fire effects. This game, probably not the best, obviously, but uh, for a game from 2005, it, it does look pretty good still, I would say. And, uh, there's, there's some body line in the street there. Don't tell me. We must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. Okay, I guess. I don't know who you are, though. stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakville. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. Guess we can't really say no at this point, can we? My name is May. And I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I think this is where we're going to end the episode, ladies and gentlemen. He'll be your guide from we'll now continue on. this in the next part. Maybe we'll go through the last cutscene here. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. Ready? Get used to his voice, we'll be hearing it a lot. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now. But you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> Aw, poor guy. It's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happens to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hello, Mr. Mm. Guildmaster. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training ground across the river. Let's go! Alright, so now we get to control our character. So that was Whisper. She's uh, going to be important in the story, as well as this room. This room is very important in our story. We're going to be coming here a lot. We're going to be doing a lot in this room. Um, but yeah, I think for now we're going to end it off there, guys. Um, so this was Martin, aka Badness, playing some Fable of the Lost Chapters for you. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, consider leaving a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, 
consider leaving a thumbs up. Um, I'm going to have a lot of fun recording this for you guys. Hopefully post a video up uh, maybe every couple days or so. I'm not really quite sure yet. But uh, if you guys want to leave some comments, suggestions, if you just want to say hi, um, I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, we'll talk a little bit more about the game and about myself in the next episode. But for now, I will see you guys in the next video. Toodles.